Hey Virgos, welcome back. Welcome back. Hope you guys had a great weekend. All right, let's get straight into your reading here for the week ahead. August 19th through the 20... Wait, 19th through the 25th. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get into this. Let's see what your messages are this week going on. For you, you have move on. Someone is unavailable. Waste of time. It's over. Move on with your life. Let's see what else. <clears throat> you also have open up your heart. Will help you help you attract more love. Okay, and oh, your pets are going to be significant this week. You might be getting a new pet or giving a current pet more love. Nice. Let's see what else is coming up here. You also have commitment. So compromise, forgive, working something out is on the table this week. Also, it could be someone's expecting, you might find out about a pregnancy, and there are cycles, fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. Okay, so let's see, what's going on? Someone is unavailable, a waste of time, it's over. Something here about one door open, another door shuts. You're being asked to move on from something this week, Virgo. Uh, get in touch with your feelings, with your emotions, to really examine if this is really what you need to do this week. How do you feel about a relationship you're currently in? How do you feel about a job you're currently contracted to? Um, anything, any any situation, person, place, or thing that you are attached to in any way, there's this, you're being asked to move on from it if it is unfulfilling or there's no, something that can't progress or be able to uh, like even in a job if there's no room to grow it's just a lack of progress here so for some of you it has it could have to do with a water sign um but this here is having like some boundaries up okay so maybe two people um are not connecting Somebody might be wondering if another person is moving on, if a relationship is over, um, or it could be you. I definitely feel like there's two people here in some kind of connection who are just not sure about each other. There is an energy of just keeping some kind of distance, maintaining, like putting walls up. Two people putting walls up. Okay. Yes, so there's this, and like I feel like there's either one or two people here who are feeling like they are broke, busted, and disgusted. They're tired, been through a lot together. Relationship doesn't seem to be moving on, or, or both people feel that each other, each is not available for a relationship for some reason, or there's like emotional unavailability, that kind of thing as well, you know. Um, so I do see either one or two people moving on this week and just coming to terms with that or one person seeing another person is moving on. It's a little bit of a shock, this whole situation here. Um, wow. There's even a ghosting. Hmm. There could be somebody wondering if another person is done with something as well. All right. So there's a lot of like... It feels like a lot of assessing. Like, is this really done? Is this really over? Is it just like there's somebody's not committing? Somebody comes to terms with this another person who is non-committal. It's like th th there's just this whole like I feel like it's two people, and there's a ghosting too. So there is this energy of like, what in the heck is going on here? Yeah, what in the heck is going on? So I don't know who's who. Like I said, roles could be reversed. But I feel like whatever the situation here is, there's a need to take a look at something like with without rose-colored glasses to really see something. It might be time to be free. Oh, they're just giving me... Oh, that's, a, that's an old song. Um, let me see. Uh, 
Oh, they're giving me the song Time For Me To Fly. Does anybody remember that song? So somebody's, all right, it goes, I've been around for you, been up and down for you, but I just can't get any relief. I've swallowed my pride for you, I've lived and lied for you, but you make me feel like a thief. You have me stealing your love away because you never give it, peeling the years away and we can't relive it. I make you laugh, you make me cry, but I think it's time for me to fly. So, yeah, I can't go through the whole song, right? Obviously, I'll probably get a copyright strike just for repeating the lyrics, but there, there is this energy with the fool of, like, taking off. So somebody's leaving. Somebody or two people are, like, freeing themselves from a relationship this week, and it's, it's either a decision or it's just another person is watching another person leave. One more card. Yeah, it might have been very toxic. Yep. Deceit. I've lived and lied for you, but you still make me feel like a thief. Um, yeah, somebody's setting themselves free. Is it you, Virgo? Are you like, that's it. It's this toxic running on and off, running away energy. Somebody might be very avoidant. Yeah, it doesn't communicate. Um, it looks like Virgo... I feel like you, you're reassessing. You're really like, you must be done here with, with some, you're moving on. Or maybe this week is like, like it's concrete in your mind. You know what I mean? Like it's done. I feel like there is somebody else here who's kind of, they know that you are, or they think that you are, but they're not paying attention. They're keeping their distance because they don't want to know that you're finished with them. They don't want to know that you're completely done. So they keep like this distance and they, you know, they they're just stay distracted, look in the other way. Um, they don't want to think about it. Okay. But it kind of feels to me, Virgo, like you are, maybe you're giving your resignation. This week is confirmed because something is just the devil energy. It's like trying to heal from some kind of very toxic thing and freeing yourself from that. And you also have open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. I feel like you're like, nah, not right now. <laughs> you're keeping to yourself, um, Virgo. Yeah, because why? Yeah, so you got a little bit of grief of some sort going on here this week. It's like, I don't think you're ready to open up your heart. You know what to do. But something here, um, maybe you're letting some energy finish out. You might have a heartbreak from a third party or cheating or some kind of deception of some sort. You're keeping your feelings to yourself. Um... So obviously spirit's not saying, hey, screw that, open your heart up. I mean, maybe you need to and not sulk if you feel like you're just going to ruminate for too long. You, you, you might want to just this week think about, you know what? I don't need to broadcast to the whole world how I'm feeling. I can keep that on the hush hush and I could deal with my emotions and my feelings. But maybe I can open up and talk to some people or people that I, I feel close with about my grief and my sadness of something being over. Um, even turning around and seeing the two cups here. Um, that's like, you know, sometimes I mean, I feel like we all have to go through a grief process, however long that takes in any situation okay there's always going to be some type of a grief process some people don't acknowledge a grief process and they just push it away and they never really fully grieve um and other people actually sit in their grief and then they let it pass right but i think however long it takes for you to grieve whether it's three weeks three months three years whatever whatever's your pace whatever works for you you do what's best for you but there's also the part about grief where some people like to stay purposely in their grief, right? They like, they choose to ruminate, they choose to obsess, they choose to then forever play a victim role in their life. And it's really important that you don't get stuck there. You know, um, it's really important to forgive, okay? Yeah. It's, and that's going to, that's, okay, we're going to get to that. I feel like maybe there, there's something here about you need to open up and talk to someone. You might think about that this week, open up and maybe like someone, a confidant, share how you're feeling. Because I, I know Virgos don't generally like to share their emotions. Um, they don't generally, yeah, there's something here about 
love and relationships so maybe talking to like a good friend or maybe like a counselor or a therapist or a life coach or someone uh, uh, someone i feel like the message here is try to open yourself up a little bit maybe to do that don't keep it all within okay now you do have pets right so pets are so therapeutic aren't they when you're going through a difficult time so some of you might decide you know what i just let me get a pet i want someone to take care of i have all this love to offer and my love keeps you know my love has been rejected let me get a pet or let me just focus on spending giving my love to my pet right i mean if, if you got a snake you got a snake that's what you got to do right if you have a, a puppy or a kitten or an old dog or an old cat whatever there's something here about pets are very very therapeutic yeah especially if you have anxiety or stress right um give your love to the, to your pet talk to your pet <laughs> just hearing um because your pet loves you and and you some of you might be getting so if you have a uh let's see we have august this is august 19th through the 25th so the 23rd the 24th and the 25th of august some of you are having a birthday okay so happy birthday if you have a birthday coming up this weekend you might be receiving a pet or giving or getting yourself a, a little animal for yourself someone for life a pet for life or celebrating your birthday with your pet you know <laughs> you know go uh, going out for a walk or, or you know something healing and special okay yeah there's something here about physical activity will also help you heal your heart i'm hearing so that's walking your dog <laughs> two you know um there's some physical activity this week is going to actually help with your anxiety i do feel like this is something to do with someone doing something with an all a pet that they already have or getting a pet receiving or getting maybe a gift or getting one for yourself okay so very therapeutic animals are very good for that you also have communicate compromise forgive work it out okay so yeah there is this communication it may happen but there is this forgiveness and working it out energy so there might be some type of communication this week now i don't know who it's with but whoever it is it's with someone that something needs to be worked out there needs to be forgiveness and some type of compromise so it's a very positive energy yeah, there's some kind of diff difficult struggle in being able to see things. This is total forgiveness. So you might communicate with someone whom things were left on red, I'm hearing, or something was left on red or unsaid, or there might have been some unfinished business. I feel like there will be some communication this week coming up. It could be with a Leo or a Pisces, but there is some communication coming up this week where we're going to try to bring it all out into the open to talk about this struggle and to talk about something here that has caused stress, um, exhaustion, or felt like a real burden. And there might be, you know, yeah, two people talking about that and trying to have each other see it from their point of view. Okay. There's something here about seeing something from... Um, a point of view now i also just heard if if you don't receive um a, an, a pet <laughs> on your birthday you might get a birthday wish from someone as well all right someone special is what i'm hearing now let's see oh yeah there's some type of energy of making some kind of decision or there's talk about someone's decision to cut another person off okay this all this stuff is going to come up this is what i feel like is happening um if someone was harsh with another person there's some type of communication and understanding two people have two people are talking and there's understanding in regards to something that some kind of harsh energy so there is there is i can't pick the card up my goodness so there is some kind of compromise forgiveness and a working out some kind of situation so i feel like communication it could be texting but it's very positive and i feel like it's something that uh needs to happen this is, this makes me feel like it has a lot to do with um 
a cycle ending okay um, something ending and perhaps a new cycle starting between two people where they're on a new page okay they're, they're both on a new page a new start here okay king of wands so may have to do with a fire sign but that's definitely karma right there okay so there's a cycle of what goes around comes around okay some truth fairness honesty and balance being brought into this situation by a fire sign leo sagittarius aries could also be by an air sign libra gemini aquarius yeah i do see mediation <laughs> i see mediation i see two people who are kind of back to back they, they have difficulty you know the, the fire and the air have difficulty in their communication style because fire is more active they're more physically active than they're more of a communicator and the gemini um gemini hmm, the air sign is more of a communicator they're more mental than they are physical so there is a little bit of a um just uh there's like a disability in their communication the difficulty in understanding so justice comes in to try to get in the middle and try to be the the mediator for the for these two people um there is an opportunity for talking again i'm hearing um but there's a new way of communicating between two people here now you know, like i said this could be a, a romantic partnership this could be friendship platonic acquaintances colleagues work situation uh, whatever it is there is some type of you know like the judge comes in <laughs> comes in in between two people because they're back to back they're not understanding each other they're, they're not, not very good at understanding different love languages different uh, uh, just understandings two people not hearing each other not listening to each other and justice comes in this could have like mediation in a divorce uh, something ending and like a new beginning but there the justice makes me feel like you know it's like a judge like the jury you know um, they come in with this cause and effect they'll find a win-win solution for two people here so some and bringing out some truth and being fair so somebody definitely um, gets a person place or thing comes in the middle of being able to communicate properly to help I can't get the word out like navigate some type of a process yeah there you go there's a cycle could be an online thing um on the internet but the world is yeah something ending and having a new chapter and a new beginning so rewriting something new chapter blank slate blank page starting over uh putting the past in the past and having like a brand new beginning here okay definitely endings and new beginnings this week okay a lot a lot of profound stuff now there's also a pregnancy that you might find out about this week you might find out someone is expecting um someone that you know it could be in in your work could be a family member could be a partner could be yourself uh it could be um yeah anybody let's take a look and see it's also a new beginning it could be a pet Someone finds out their pets having having babies. Ooh, a cat. Specifically a cat. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. This is actually I never saw this before. This is actually a labor. Uh you know how like the nurse will push down on the belly to push the baby out? Uh that's what I'm picking up here. Alright. So pregnancy expecting does represent how can i say this there's a new new birth of something is happening it does not have to actually be a pregnancy like in the physical form but they're pushing something out coming out really quick coming out really really quick there's some type of new new beginning here good news too it's this is positive news you'll be receiving um it could be this week yeah well i mean we're doing the weekly reading but the that strength card is is a leo card so before leo season uh, leo season ends which is on august 22nd 22nd or 23rd just depends oh wow here's chariot um <laughs> there's definitely i'm picking up so much hospital vibes so i gotta say for the most part 
for the most part there is there is like quick call the ambulance quick the water broke quick the baby's coming out push it back in not ready yet yeah there is definitely this baby's coming quick okay it could also just be you know like someone's expecting you know like it's, it could be actually giving birth or there is so if it's you and you're like right at the end there you better watch out this week okay because this baby might be slipping out or if it's like someone close to you you need to stay on guard stay close to home keep that ambulance number right on your phone there ready to dial that button and dial that number at any time but there is definitely movement here and someone's kind of like in some ways it's almost like oh wait no 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 like no no this is, I, I feel like no i'm not ready this is what i'm hearing someone is saying no i'm not ready <laughs> no 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 oh they just told me twins as well holy shit okay all right there's a queen of wands so this is a fire sign so for some of you you know if you're on the cusp of leo virgo this could be you or someone you're close to who's on the cusp of leo virgo or is a leo yeah there's definitely you can find out about you'll be at work <laughs> you might be at work when you find out about this or you get this good news it's you know it's good news but it's almost like somebody's like oh <laughs> yes i'm very happy but i'm not ready you know that kind of thing is interesting right and like for some of you like i said it could be a pet like oh my god <laughs> how did this happen how's my dog pregnant what are we gonna do with all these puppies yeah it's a little bit of that <laughs> for some of you like i said it's a family member or a sibling um they're going on there like this is children for sure okay so maybe yeah i know some of you are like well, i don't know that's not i have no idea well you might find out about it this week and then you come back to the reading and be like oh holy shit that did happen okay <laughs> Let's just take a look real quick at your career stuff, your money this week. See what your money. Oh, okay. Power position. You are being promoted or called to lead. Um, time to step into your sovereignty and guide others with compassion. You also have a journey. You may move to a new place for work or travel for work. Exploring the world gives you the experience you need to succeed. And you also have investment. Invest in your education and make some big plans for the future. Take calculated risks, but save something to fall back on. Okay. I'll just they say get one more. One more money card. Okay, this one just flipped over. Oh, here you go again. Ending. You may leave a position or be terminated. However, there's always a new opportunity ahead. You may change careers entirely. Okay, I love that. It's so like emo. It's so Halloweenish. <laughs> okay, so pay attention to that energy. That work stuff. Um, let's get your messages of love. See if there's anything else here for you, Virgo. Now I'm gonna have that time for me to fly song stuck in my head all day. Such a great tune. All right, messages of love. Why is my deck upside down? Okay. Self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting this week. For example. Okay, you also have mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson. Good, good, good. Oh, and you have true love. True, This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Okay. Anything else that Virgo needs to know? There's also an addiction affecting your relationship. And there, But there is a relationship that deserves a second chance. Okay. A lot, of, a lot of interesting things coming up this week for you. And then there's rejection, which is actually divine protection. That pretty much means not right now. Leave something be. All right, let's get Amira's Love Oracle. See what's showing up here this week also. Just remember, this is just like a bunch of jumbled messages for the week. 
Okay, so you have travel, vacation, honeymoon, enjoyment coming up this week for some of you. Okay, you have a soulmate, great connection, a relationship. There's a soulmate connection. I don't know what the heck those things are. They look like spermies <laughs> or car lights. What the heck is that? I don't know. Anyway. And then you have true gem, valuable quality jewelry. Mm, you might get a gift for your birthday. Jewelry. Uh, there's also open relationship, no commitment, casual openness, something showing up here this week for you to pay attention to as well. If you're in a casual, no non-committal relationship and that's not what you want, you need to, you know, say, okay, well, yeah, this person's my true love and I really love them, but that's not what I want. And all you want, you want an honest connection full of pure love. Okay. All right. Any other messages for Virgo? What other messages for Virgo? Okay, Page of Swords. Nothing wants to focus today. Okay, logical, perceptive, insightful, blunt. An exciting intellectual challenge appears this week. Brilliant insights, information that you need but might be challenging to receive. Review all documents very carefully this week, Virgo. Okay, you also have the Ace of Swords. Brilliant ideas that may need refinement. Overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out. Communicate clearly and concisely and remain objective. And the Two of Pentacles. You might be working too hard or multiple jobs. There's a need to bring balance and fun into your life. Juggling multiple priorities and balance your budget. Very important this week. All right, anything else? Okay, you also have the five of wands. Conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions. We already saw that. Walk away from drama unless the situation is really worth your time, then stand up for yourself. If it's not, so if something is not worth someone's time, they won't stand up for themselves in regards to get their needs met. They just walk away because they won't give a shit. Okay, anybody who's fighting for something, it's because they truly care. And if another person isn't interested in trying to get their needs met, they're going to walk away and not give a shit anymore. And that's if once if that happens to you or has happened to you in the past, Virgo, you just got to keep it moving because that's that, that's not a relationship that's going to work. Two people got to want to make something work. So it's a lot about looking in the mirror. You got to do some reflecting here. Some heavy reflecting. If you're in something that you just feel like no matter what you do, you get stonewalled or there's a lot of push and pull going back and forth hot and cold in any kind of relationship that's obvious because there's a lack of communication healthy communication either from one or two people so it's like how do you sometimes you can find a way to communicate as healthy as you possibly can to someone and if they're the other person is not open to communicating that way either whether they have an anxiety about that or they're just very avoidant whatever the issue is like you can't make you can drag a horse to water but you can't make it drink you know and then you kind of have to be like well there you go that's that if you feel like you are doing your best in your life you know trying to communicate not everybody's going to be sometimes you just gotta like call a spade a spade if you're not able to get a need met or someone's not open to talking or working something out with you virgo you gotta leave alone just leave them alone all right september 4th so you have libra libra scorpio aries significant signs for you this week Okay, so let's see, 31st of August, birthday, and we have September 6th, August 29th, we have September 13th, all right, February and March are significant months, or were very significant months for someone here. We have age 58 
Well, these are ages or year of birth. You you know your, your info. 58, 68, 46, 44, 34, 51. September 12th, September 19th. You have 76, 64, 82. Okay. Now, as far as names. Okay. All right, something with an I, oh, Internet Operating System, iOS, is going to be significant for someone this week. Yeah, we're still in that Mercury retrograde, so, blah, still have an effect on people. Someone's a real cutie. Someone thinks someone's a real cutie pie. Not a lot going on here. Um, Skog, or Skaggs, last name, or Skog. Okay. Someone's drinking tea, hot tea, cold tea, iced tea, tea or me. Someone shopping at Saks, Saks and Fifth Avenue, or just was. We have Katie or Kate. So the initial K, we have a G I O S A T Q E A. Okay. Someone's in Georgia, someone's in Queensland, someone's in Tennessee, someone's in Seattle, obviously Washington. Someone is a Buddhist. Uh, someone's in Virginia. Okay, let's see what your cards are. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot your Chinese signs, so... Let me get your Chinese signs. How did I forget that? I'm slipping. I'm slipping, y'all. So I'm going to pick out your Chinese sign. If you don't know your Chinese sign, you could just Google it. Just look up the your date of birth. Don't forget to add your year. Because the Chinese signs are based on the year. Okay. But you got to put your month in because it changes in like February. All right, let's see, you and or your person. So we've got year of the rooster, year of the goat, year of the dragon, year of the tiger, year of the rat, year of the rabbit, year of the monkey, year of the ox. So that could be you, it could be your person, or it might not be any of you. All right, so we have tennis rackets here. So somebody's playing tennis or is a tennis player or likes watching tennis. There is an a, a, a there is a, a hold on. There's a connection to tennis rackets or playing tennis. Very significant. Okay, you also have an owl on a branch. Um, this owl yeah, this is this that's an interesting owl. An interesting looking owl. Um, it almost looks like a cat. Like a cat bird. <laughs> Wasn't that a cartoon? Cat bird? Anyway, from like Nickelodeon back in the like nineties. Cat bird. Maybe cat turd. I don't know what's going on here. Um, but there is a connection like it's almost like a robot owl too. So yeah, there's some some type of like be careful your cat might try to like kill some birds or something i don't know wise wisdom though the owl represents wisdom so you're going to be gaining some insight and wisdom this week in regards to whatever your your life situation is you're going to know what to do you also have a cactus so i do feel like this is a message here to reserve your energy of virgo this week reserve your energy there's also like a cactus rose cactus rose here hold on let me let me try to get closer so you can see it you see the roses on top of the cactus maybe it's a plant you have a cactus plant with roses or there's a name connection to cactus rose you live near somewhere an area where there's cacti yeah huge but this this mostly feels to me like um reserve your energy and and dr start drinking more water is what i'm hearing you need to like up your water intake not to like extreme proportions where you're drinking like five gallons of water a day you don't want to get sick but make sure you're getting 
the water requirements for yourself this week try to try to put if you're not that person I know a lot of you do do that but if you're that person that's like you know I'm slacking on making sure I get my water in um, so try to make a point to do that and I also heard um, for those of you who are feel like your metabolism is slowing down <clears throat> it's not up to par um, you know happens with age of course uh, there, I'm hearing something about taking some B12 vitamins which will help with your something to do with your metabolism and fat burning B12 I guess chewables or regular vitamins like I don't know how many micrograms or milligrams I'm just hearing do something look into B12 if you haven't already done that all right you guys so that was <laughs> interesting informative reading i'm going to leave that there for you be back here tomorrow um also don't forget if you want to become a member of my channel you can now um there's two tiers you can choose to just do the 2.99 per month and with that you will get shout outs badges and emojis or you can upgrade to the vip membership where you will get access to members only videos that I will upload here on my channel that the public does not get. So that will be $9.99 a month if you're interested in that, okay? So do check that out. Um, you can upgrade your already membership that you have. So yeah, definitely go check that out. All right, you guys, don't forget, put a like, subscribe on the channel, and personal reading link is in the description box below if you really need something personal, a personal reading with me. All right, you guys, love ya, see ya. Hey Virgo, welcome to my membership channel here in the House of Virgo. I'm Kelly and I'm thrilled to have you here. If you are thinking about becoming a member, let me tell you about the awesome perks you can get. For just $2.99 per month, you can join as a loyal member. With this, you'll receive loyalty badges, custom emojis, and shout outs to show off your support. But if you want to level up, consider the bonus membership for $9.99 per month. You get everything included in the loyalty membership, badges, emojis, shout outs, plus exclusive members only videos. These bonus videos are specially tailored just for you, my loyal members, and won't be available to the public. Think of it as your VIP access to content that's more personal and insightful than what's on my regular channel. Whether you choose the loyalty membership to show your support or go for the bonus membership to get the extra content, you can cancel anytime no strings attached but trust me you'll want to stick around because these perks are designed to make you feel like a true viv a very important virgo i'm so grateful for all your support whether you're in the chat watching videos or just being part of the house of virgo community thank you for being here i can't wait to see you on the inside y'all join now let's make this journey even more amazing together i'll see you real soon bye